into the base cabinet. Not only is it nice because it's used when you need it, but it's also sort of out of the way when you're out of the kitchen. One of the fun things about building a brand new home are all of the new choices that you can make to improve your lifestyle. There are a lot of modern conveniences that can be taken into account. For example, your traditional oven would not only sit on the floor, but you'd also have that hinge at the bottom. That way you need to step all the way out, bend over just to put something in there. Whereas this oven not only is set up higher, but you also have a double door that opens. You can pull your dish out of the oven, you can set it on the tray, season the dish, put it right back in. And then if you're trying to time your meal so that everything is ready at the same time, you can also use the warming door as well. It's perfect and there are a lot of conveniences in mind with this kitchen. Another thing to consider is the large, extra large pot drawers, as well as extra large pot drawers over here. There's even a hidden drawer as well. There are plenty of more things to consider, and you can design your dream kitchen to be however you'd like it to be. Two more appliances I just want to touch on briefly. The dishwasher is right to the left of the sink, very easy for loading up or unloading it. And also right next to the sink is the trash compactor. Trash compactor will serve also as a garbage. Speaking of that, this over here is the recycling center. It's really nice. It's out of the way. I'd be really curious what you thought of the appliances that we showed in the kitchen. Be sure to comment below. Before we leave the kitchen area, I wanted to show you how we extended it over to include this pantry. It was really nice with adjustable shelves. Notice the soft clothes on that door. Not only are the doors soft clothes, but also the drawers. The perimeter countertops are a different type of material and color as the island. On the perimeter, that is a corian, so solid surface. On the island where it's going to get a lot more use, the client decided to use quartz. This is extra thick, really massive. The extra thick, really massive. Full color. On the back side of the island, it is finished with cultured stone. Now let's talk island cabinetry colors. The cabinetry on the island is different than the perimeter cabinetry. This is a knotty alder. And the finish color is very similar to the finish color on the log walls. The perimeter color actually hides in some of those same elements. The worn edge on here is that dark rich color, not only tying in the island and the wall finish, but also the ceiling finish. The knots on the ceiling finish are that darker color as well. And then the surface on that ceiling finish is very similar in color to the surface on the cabinet. There are a lot of little details that you pay attention to when doing custom cabinetry design, such as adding decorative end panels. It's the little details like having base molding around the perimeter of the cabinets, but then having glazing around these grooves. It's these little things that really makes this home truly custom. As we leave the kitchen, we are in the focal point of the home, and that is the brow wall with the fireplace as the heart of the room. The client wanted to center this fireplace as the primary feature. It is a wood burning unit, puts out up to 89,000 BTU, which is quite a bit. We can heat this whole space. A lot of features that accompany that is, of course, a sealed door unit. So, this is wonderful. The hearth itself is a curved round hearth, very special, wrapped with the same stone that's on the rest of the chase. This also gives a little more clearance in this area, has a little bit more detail. This piece actually goes all the way up to the peak. It's about 22 feet tall in the ceiling with 10 and a half foot tall side walls. The wall itself, we call it a feature wall, prow wall, it is actually shaped like the front of a ship, the prow of a ship. If a person didn't want the fireplace in the center, they wanted to open this up more for an incredible view. It would be very common to place the fireplace as well as the TV on the side of the living room. Each side of the gray room has an exterior door that heads out to the covered porch area. Above each door is industrial accent lighting. It looks beautiful, and it really ties in with the rebar balusters and even the metal handrail. The door hardware itself, it actually has the same forged finish and the hammered appearance that you see on the fireplace, Chase, as well as that custom mantle right above the fireplace. Heading up to the loft, it only gets better. The stairway is a custom timber frame stairway with timber treads and stringers. These were hand cut at Golden Eagle 
If you want to see more details on the incredible craftsmanship, check out episode five to see how this stair system really came to be. It's absolutely amazing to see all the detail and craftsmanship that went into it. I like the look of edgeworn, which was done on the railings and the newel posts. It just gives it more of a rugged appearance. We even talked about light switches right in the newel posts. That way they're available whether you're entering the loft or leaving. As you enter the loft, the details just keep getting better. The beautiful cut. The client took a matte black, more industrial looking faucet, and even the trim. This is custom trim, and they matched it with the same color that's on the long walls. The tongue groove in this room. This is that same ceiling finish, but we have different pattern widths, and it's running vertically up the wall. The tile on the wall is pretty cool. It actually looks like a reclaimed barn board, but more of a whitewashed color. And that's how you